Understanding Autistic Traits, because acceptance begins with understanding. How does being autistic affect sensory input? Some people could either seek out or avoid sensory stimuli. So it's interesting, you know, we talk about the spectrum, right? Where some might seek out bright lights or loud sounds and others will avoid them at all costs. Uh, you often see people with a wanting to smell something and others who avoid smells. So again, you know, we have to look at the individual needs of the person. I'm kind of, a, you know, sensitive with food and stuff. Like, you know, I honestly cannot stand rice. And uh, I'm like one of the pickiest of eaters. Like it's taking like, you know, a while for me to get used to, you know, certain textures with food. The bad ways are I'm very sensitive to noise and commotion. I call it swirling when there's a lot of people and they're moving in different directions. And if you, especially if that's coupled with a lot of talking, chairs squeaking, like a restaurant is a sensory overload for me. The forks on plates, the talking, the smells, the, the movements, it's all combined. And that is like a form of of se bad sensory input for me. I avoid places with bright lights because it hurts my eyes. Good sensory input for me would be like m music. Um, I believe that my sensitivity to sound gives me abilities in my music because if I hear a song, I can play it on a piano. I don't need the notes. I could just know I just know how to play it. And I think that has something to do with my sensitivity to sound and my brain my brain just maps it out for me. And so it, I think it can be a gift as well. How does being autistic affect emotional regulation? Yes, I sometimes get overwhelmed for, for the future. I'm really um, boisterous in any direction. So when I'm sad, I'm crying and my nose and I'm, it's like I'm on the floor. <laughs> but when I'm happy, I'm physically jumping or spinning and squealing. So it's just my emotions are just heightened in the way I express them. It affects my emotions, you know, because I tend to, you know, overthink or over, you know, react in certain things when I think that, you know, it's uh, gone too far. How does being autistic affect socializing? I think having autism can have the spectrum of effects on socialization as being autistic can. <laughs> so, um, I have family members with autism that are incredibly social and their traits and characteristics are appealing and it draws people to them. Um, so in that regard, they are very successful in those skills. Um, on the other side of the spectrum, you can have children or adults who have not yet identified the best way to relate to others, to engage in perspective taking skills of others. Um, so there may be a lot of miscommunication and difficulties in socialization. Yeah, I just feel a little bit lonely because I'm just working towards that goal. Autism affects uh, the socializing aspect because you know, I've had trouble, like, you know, understanding, like, you know, jokes uh, or sarcasm. And uh, I want to socialize with others. And I've had trouble, like, you know, finding things in common with them either. Yes, I am. I am pretty social, but but sometimes I'm working on towards of not being antisocial. So being autistic affects socializing. Um, it, it can be hard. Uh, there's quite a lot of people who think that autistic people don't want to socialize or that we don't really care about having friends. But for me, I, I enjoy socializing to a point. I, I like having friends and I enjoy socializing. Um, but the second, the second I'm done, I'm done and I must leave. I, there's, there's a point and I usually don't feel it coming until it's too late. And I'll just say, okay, I'm done now. Bye. <laughs> and I'll just 
<laughs> out the door. 